What is going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch. We're back at it for a very important update. Ever since Coco Code came out with the ESP Flasher, it has been a constantly growing project and it's been getting better and better by the day. Now, the ability to flash the ESP32s right directly from the flipper has been absolutely like groundbreaking for Flipper. Ever since that app came out, it's been getting simpler and easier every step along the way. Now, even though it's gotten super, super easy to do, people still keep asking the same questions like, hey, every time I install Evil Portal, Marauder stops working. And of course, we're just like, yeah, we know that's how it works. Like, that's literally why the flasher exists. So you can flash from one firmware to the other. But then there's people all like, well, I want them both at the same time. Why can't I do that? Well, most of us are like, because it doesn't work this way. However, Coco Code was like, why doesn't it work that way? What seemed like an absolutely ridiculous question actually turned out to be kind of the inspiration for another paradigm shift. So today I'm going to show you the very latest version of the ESP32 flasher featuring the dual boot option. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install the brand new version of ESP Flasher. So right now I have my Flipper Zero hooked up and I've got actually Black Magic flashed onto the uh, Wi-Fi card just to make sure that I have both of the slots empty. You can see the red LED that's on there. It means Black Magic's running. Of course, now we're going to navigate on over to flipc.org. We're going to scroll down to GPIO and go to ESP Flasher. From here, we're going to select, I'm currently running Rogue Master. So all we have to do is click the install button. Now I have plugged my flipper into the USB-C cable. So when I click install, it's gonna go. So we're done from there, no problem. All right, so from here, all we're gonna do is open up Q Flipper, which always opens up on the wrong screen, hooray. Uh, big screen, let's go to applications. Gonna go to GPIO, scroll all the way down past ESP32. And we're gonna get to ESP32 flasher, which I skipped right here. And cool. So what we're gonna do from here is actually go right down to uh, enter bootloader. We're gonna wanna do that first because that's gonna, instead of holding the buttons down, that's gonna make it so we're gonna enter the bootloader. We don't have to do anything with the buttons anymore. Once we've done that, we can just simply click back and we're just gonna go to flash ESP. We're gonna go to the bootloader slot and then I'm gonna have this dual boot rover uh, file linked down below. That's gonna work for rover or for the flipper zero. So we're just gonna click on that and it's going to install. We're gonna go down to do, do flash. That's all you need to do. You don't have to do anything else. It's all one file again. I used the same magic I did last time. So everything's quick, everything's easy. Well, actually I lied, this is not quick. Because we're installing two separate firmwares onto this at the same time, it does take a while. So I'm not even gonna bother showing a time lapse. I'm just gonna hop back in when this is all done. Okay, it just finished flashing. And right now it says waiting for HTML, which is a great sign because that's the beginning of Evil Portal running. That's super cool. Now you can even see when I hold this up, the blue lights on. So anybody who's run Evil Portal before, you know if the blue lights on, you're ready to go. So back down here, if we go to back and go to back, so into the main firmware. So that was our evil portal running. And all we have to do is switch to firmware B and then it's gonna switch to Marauder. Right now, it's gonna say SD card is not supported. That's a normal thing for Marauder to say. It's actually hard-coded into the firmware. The serial SD function, which is enabled on this version because it's the ESP32 Rover, that still works just fine, don't worry about it. And just to validate our install, we can go back and go back. We're gonna go up to ESP32. We're just gonna run Marauder. Make sure this thing all still works. ESP32, Wi-Fi Marauder, and scan APs. There we go. It's working fine, just as we thought before. So that's super freaking cool. And just, just further proof of concept, we're gonna go and go back to our, whoops, go back one more time in our folders. Let's go back and switch into Evil Portal and make sure that's running, but I'm pretty positive this is all working exactly as it should. Switch to firmware A. Waiting for HTML, perfect. So we'll go back into our ESP folder. Open up, let's see, Evil Portal. There we go. Nope, not ESP Cam, this is not ESP Cam. Don't use that one. Here we go, Evil Portal. And start Portal. HTML set, and our web server is up and running. 
As you can see with Coco Code's new update, it could not possibly be easier. All you have to do is install a single file. It will install both of the firmwares on there at the same time. Then you can just select back and forth A to B. It's that simple. What's great is that it's so fast too. Before you could install one and install the other, but it took a few minutes between. There's no time at all between the switching on this. Now this update literally just came out a couple days ago and then I made the bins this morning so that the single file thing works again because I really think that's helpful. Um, to having to select four different files, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, I guess five files now, but it's more complicated, it's easier to make a mistake, you forget to drop it into bootloader, you gotta do it all over again. Having one single file makes it so much easier. I'm gonna have links to all my files down below in my GitHub. I'll have it for ESP32 Room, Rover, everything else that I need to have, I'll have those down in the GitHub link down below. As always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the follow button. I've got so many cool things coming up, like literally so many cool things coming up. So make sure you don't miss out. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you next time.